what do you know about blockchain and what is the difference between bitcoin blockchain and ethereum blockchain the blockchain is a decentralized distributed database of immutable records the technology was discovered with the invention of bitcoins the first cryptocurrency it's a trusted approach and there are a lot of companies in the present scenario which are using it as everything is secure and because it's an open source approach it can easily be trusted in the long run what is the principle on which blockchain technology is based on it enables the information to be distributed among the users without being copied what are the different types of blockchains blockchains are of three types public private and consortium why is blockchain a trusted approach blockchain can be trusted due to so many reasons its compatibility with other business applications due to its open source nature its security as it was meant for an online transactions the developers have paid special attention to keeping up the pace when it comes to its security it really doesn't matter what type of business one owns blockchain can easily be considered explain what is keyword streaming keyword streaming means analyzing the related keywords and pick the best keyword for the website based on its target in order to generate organic traffic and leads within the keywords name the two types of records that are present in the blockchain database these records are block records and transactional records both these records can easily be accessed and the best thing is it is possible to interact with them with each other without following the complex algorithms what are the properties of blockchain there are four key features of blockchain first one decentralized system second one distributed ledger third one safer and secure ecosystem fourth one minting what is encryption what is its role in blockchain data security always matters encryption is basically an approach that helps organizations to keep their data secure in cryptography the cryptic data is encoded or changed up to some extent before it is sent out of a network by the sender and only authorized parties can access that information in blockchain this approach is useful because it simply adds more to the overall security and authenticity of blocks and helps to keep them secure what do you mean by blocks in the blockchain technology blockchain consists of a list of records such records are stored in blocks these blocks are in turn linked with other blocks and hence constitute a chain called blockchain how does a block is recognized in the blockchain approach every block in this online ledger basically consists of a hash pointer which acts as a link to the block which is prior to it transaction data and in fact a stamp of a time 